Welcome to A Magical Life, Health, Wealth and Weight Loss. I'm your host, Magic Barclay, Lead Practitioner at Holistic Natural Health Australia and number one best-selling author. In this podcast, I aim to give you practical tips on how to accelerate and sustain your health, increase your financial, spiritual and emotional wealth and to look at something that haunts many of us needlessly, weight loss. In some episodes, I'll have guests available to give you even more tips, but in others, the floor is yours. Drop us a line at A Magical Life Podcast on Facebook and let me know what you would like to know more about. Now, sit back and enjoy, because it is time for you to create and truly discover a magical life. Welcome back to A Magical Life. I am your host, Magic Barclay. Now, today, episode 27, we're talking about internal water flow. Now, that might sound very strange, and this won't be a huge, long podcast, but it's one that I really wanted to bring the idea to you. Humans are 90% water. We have cycles of water flow, of ebb and of flow of water. Just as the ocean does, you see the currents and the waves in the ocean. We have those currents and waves inside us as well. Now, the term lunatic in history means craziness. It would often fall on a full moon. Why? Luna means moon. Because as the moon becomes full, If you watch the ocean, the tides, the currents will all change due to the pull of the moon. The gravitational or the magnetic pull of the moon will change the way the water behaves. And that happens inside us too. So that is why people were called lunatics, because it often happened on a full moon where they would go just a little bit off, a little bit weird. Society wouldn't really understand what was going on, but the person wouldn't really understand what was going on either because it was their internal water that was flowing, that was changing, that the tide would go out or go in because of the pull of the moon. Now, we all have this internal water flow within us. It can create the power behind our lymphatic system, which is our waste or toxin removal system. And when that's no longer working, water builds up or fluid builds up and we find lymphedema. Now, when that happens, we're not moving toxins. When you have lymphedema, you can get structural issues. You can get uh, a lack of nutrients, a lack of oxygen. Your circulatory system will have some problems, it will affect every other system of your body because water is powerful and the water can no longer flow the way it's supposed to to remove the waste. That's just one way that our internal water flow happens. I want to tell you a story about nature. Now I say this story quite often because it's just so powerful. I go walking with one of my neighbours every single day. We live in the country and it can be quite dry and sparse out here. But a couple of weeks ago, we had some torrential rains and boy, did we need it. We were in the middle of winter and we'd had no rain. So this rain fell and fell and fell. And as we went for our walk, we were standing on a footbridge watching a dry creek bed, and we watched as the water flowed. It was not only beautiful and amazing to see water in this creek bed for once, but watching how the water flowed was amazing. Why? The water did not choose the path of least resistance. In that, it did not automatically flow where it had always flowed. Instead, the water carved its own path. It battered the rocks that were in the ground, in the creek bed. 
we could see it was wearing its way through some of the smaller rocks. Now, we'd had five days of continual rain, and it was still raining, but only lightly, but the water flowing through this creek bed en masse was just amazing. And it was picking up rocks like they were nothing, like they had no weight, no substance. It was moving them. It was pulling these grasses out of the ground, out of the earth that had been there for years. Again, like they were nothing. The water was the force to be reckoned with. But it was just water. Now, as the water carved its own path, it flowed into some smaller catchment areas, which then flowed into our local lake. The lake was a source of life. The birds were having a ball there. We saw some fish, some yabbies, lots of frogs. This water, this this body of water became such a thriving and abundant ecosystem. Life sprung back into action because there was fresh water there. Now, if we look at our own bodies, when we become dehydrated, when we have an injury and stop our lymphatics from working, when we gain too much weight, when we lose too much weight, when we become unhappy, we change our internal water flow. We can no longer be the water going through the dry creek bed making its own path. We become governed and shut off. Like you're turning off a tap. Water should not be governed like that within ourselves. Our internal water flow needs to be able to find its path, find its way through the countryside. And that is where our thoughts and actions come in. In podcast 24 we talked about shadow values our shadow values will govern how our internal water flow occurs our golden values are where the water wants to flow to if your golden value is for example family as mine is your internal water flow will drive you towards having your family around you being part of your family, all your shadows will come in here, all seven of them, because it needs to support your golden value. Now this happens with your health as well. So your internal water flow, as I said, it actually has a mechanism of action to keep you healthy. It takes waste out, it transports nutrients around And you need internal water flow to think, to feel, to be, to act, to move. You need to be lubricated within. Now that is your internal water flow. So what can we do to support our internal water flow? There's a few things we can do. We can eat live, healthy, abundant food. Now when you eat, say, veggies, from a frozen veggie pack. It was live once, but the water molecules in that food have changed when they became frozen. If you eat something out of a can or a packet, it's likely not to have water in it or very little water in it because otherwise it would go off, it would go mouldy because it's stagnant. When we look at fruit and veggies we can see the live energy the water the abundance that that piece of food has it has vibrational energy within it because it is full of water what do we need to break down those foods to consume them we need water we need to be lubricated we need to be able to chew we need saliva we need to be able to digest We need to create peristaltic motion to expel waste from the colon. We need water. We need to be full of that life force, full of that energy. So the more you eat live foods, the better it will be, the easier it will be on your body. The more you drink water, 
Now, when I'm saying drink water, I'm not talking about putting a glass under the tap, turning the tap on, and you've got water. That's not water. That is toxic, vacuous liquid. When I say drink water, there are three things we need to look at. Toxins is one. We need to take the fluorine and the chlorine out. Why? Because they are iodine mimickers. The rise that we're seeing in thyroid disease, thyroid disorders, is because we are drinking chlorinated, fluoridated water. There are no health benefits from drinking these chemicals. I will say that again. There are no health benefits. It will not keep your teeth healthy and clean. It will not do anything healthy. What it will do is calcify your pineal gland, your third eye, it's often known as. It will give you damage in your brain, in your arteries, your veins. It will damage your thyroid. It's got nothing to do with your teeth. Please, it's got nothing to do with your teeth. So we need to take toxins out of our water. But that's only part of the equation. The other part is to structure our water. Now, what is structured water? Structured water is water that is passed through minerals or that has essential factors in it. Now, if we look at the water in in the dry creek bed, that is structured water. It has energy. It has flow. It's moving. It's got oxygen in it. It's moving. It's running past those rocks, picking up minerals from the rocks. It's running across the ground, picking up minerals from the dirt. How can you structure your water? You are not going to go and drink the water from the creek and all the mud in it. No, that would just be ridiculous. You can structure your water by putting essential oils in your water, by having crystals in your water bottle. You can structure it with a pinch of Himalayan sea salt, with lemon wedges or cucumber slices. You can structure it with fulvic and humic minerals, which is basically dirt, but it's minerals that are formulated that your body actually needs. You can run it through a filter that has minerals in it. Now remember to take as much of the chlorine and fluorine out of the water. Then structure your water because then your body will be able to absorb it, be able to use it straight away to have the waste removing from your body, to have the nutrients circulating in your body. Structured water is where it's at, people. Just remember, you are 90% water. What your water can do for you has unlimited potential. If you think back to an old saying, you know, someone would say to Aunt Ethel, for example, how do you know that? And she'd go, I feel it in my waters. Water has intuition. It helps you understand what is going on not only in your brain, but in your heart, your feelings. We talked about the shadows. I keep referring back to that. Your internal water flow will put the energy towards the values that will keep you alive, whether it be your golden values or your shadow values. Water is your source of energy. It is your source of life. It is your source of abundance. Think back to the little lake where the birds were happy, the frogs were there jumping around, the fish were popping up, the yabbies were in there. Water is calming, it is nurturing, but is also very exciting and exhilarating. So listeners, just a short one today about your internal water flow. Please look after your internal water flow. You are 90% water. Don't be dehydrated. Don't eat food that is devoid of water. Don't drink toxic sludge. But do drink structured water. Do understand that you need to be hydrated 
and that you need to have your internal water flow working the best it can for you. Now that's my ramblings on your internal water flow. This has been episode 27. In episode 28, we have Elise Peck coming on talking about sexual energy. <laughs> that's going to be an amazing episode. Coming up soon, we have Inga talking about essential oils and essential self-care. We have some fantastic guests coming up ahead of you. For now, please don't forget to review the podcast, to share it. Get in touch with me if you would like to be a guest on this podcast or if you have a topic that you would like us to explore. This is your podcast. This is for you. I want to bring you as much learning as I can as much knowledge, as much growth as possible. So please get in touch on our Facebook page, A Magical Life, Health, Wealth and Weight Loss, and let us know what you would like to learn about. For now, create your internal water flow and go forth and create your magical life. Thanks for listening today. Please subscribe to hear future episodes, leave a review and share this podcast. You can follow us on Facebook at A Magical Life Podcast or at Holistic Natural Health Australia. That's holistic with a W. You can find us on Instagram at Holistic Natural Health or at www.holisticnaturalhealth.com.au. That's where you'll access all sorts of articles, freebies and more.